Hello and welcome to another Cycle Ref TFM video, Fundamental Training for Marketers, brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. In this video, we're going to be talking about website personalization within Sitecore. We've written numerous blogs on the importance of personalization, so feel free to head over to our website and check them out if you'd like. But for those that aren't too familiar with the concept of website personalization, Essentially, it's an advanced marketing technique that allows you to deliver highly targeted content to each and every website visitor on an individual basis. As an example, if we think the visitor appears to be a potential prospect based on their behavior as they move through our site, we might display a banner that offers an irresistible discount, which is strictly available for new customers only. But if that visitor looks like an existing customer, we don't want to risk upsetting them by showing them the same irresistible offer if that offer isn't actually available or applicable to them. So we could use personalization to show them a different banner with an offer that is available and applicable to them, resulting in happy customers all around. Okay, let's dive straight in and take a look at how to add personalization to a component within Sitecore. So here we are in the experience editor of the Three Chilies website, and we're on the About Us page. I've chosen to personalize a component on this page because my analytical data suggests that this page has a good amount of highly engaged traffic passing through it just before the customer exits the site. So it seems to me that this is a perfect opportunity to seal the deal with any potential lead by providing a tasty looking call to action. Now with Three Chilies being an agency who develop and support Sitecore websites, we're interested in promoting our Sitecore services to our website visitors. The problem is that we provide such a wide range of different Sitecore services that it's hard to provide our customers with relevant targeted information on the service they're most interested in unless we use personalization. Okay, so let's continue with the same idea and think about this. We know that if a website visitor has been looking at pages on our website, like the What is Sitecore page, we can be fairly confident that that visitor isn't currently a Sitecore user and that they're probably interested in becoming one. So if they visited that page, I'm going to show them this banner here, which offers them the chance to take part in a free, no obligation demo of the Sitecore platform. So here we have some text with a button and that button will take them through to the relevant page for the demo. As a side note, I might spend a bit more time making this component look a little prettier if we were using it in a real world situation. But this is just a demonstration. Now, on the other hand, if the website visitor is looking at pages like our Sitecore Superheroes page where we offer Sitecore audits, I can be pretty sure that they've already got the Sitecore platform in place. So showing them the same content offering a free Sitecore demo is just going to be a complete waste of screen real estate because it's not applicable to them. So in that case, we'll show those visitors this form instead, which enables them to quickly register their interest in receiving a Sitecore audit. And finally, if the visitor doesn't meet either of these conditions, I don't want the component to show anything at all. So let's go ahead and set this up in Sitecore. If you click the View tab in the top ribbon and in the Enable group, select Designing, that's going to enable the design functionality. Then navigate to the component where you want to implement the personalization rule. I've made this blank container here. Click the component and in the floating toolbar that appears, click Personalize Component which is this icon right here. And in the Personalize the Component dialog box, click New Condition. Give the new condition the appropriate name, and for this one, I'm gonna call it Sitecore Demo. And I'm gonna add another one here real quick called Sitecore Audit. It's important to note that Sitecore evaluates the personalization rules in the order that they appear in the Personalize the Component dialog box. So if the visitor doesn't satisfy the rules specified in this top condition up here, Sitecore moves on to the next condition and so on until the visitor does meet one of the conditions. So if you have two rules that could potentially apply to one single visitor, the personalization tool will always choose the option that is highest in this list. And so with that in mind, you can use these buttons over here to move the rules up and down in a stacking order. You'll notice that we didn't create this block down here, it was just here by default, and that's because it is the default condition. That's the condition that is used if the visitor doesn't meet any of the conditions that we specify. So if we go back to the rule we created for cycle audits, we can click in here to select the content that we want to display for that type of customer. But you'll notice that when we do that, we're pretty limited on options here. And that's because the item you choose here must be compatible with the current rendering item. 
For example, you must use web form renderings if you want to show a web form item or a text rendering if you want to show content stored in the text field. If that sounds a bit confusing, don't worry too much. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. If we click cancel on that and then click this button up here called enable personalization of component design, you'll notice that this box pops up here and that's going to allow us to select a different kind of rendering for this component. In this case, for the site called demo rule, the content that we want to display lives inside of a text field. So we'll choose text here. And then we'll tell Sitecore exactly which data source bit of text we'd like to use in here. And for the Sitecore audit rule, we want to display a form. So we'll select the form component here and click the personalized content box to select the relevant form that we want to show. Okay, great. Now we have the components set up with the different content variations and all we need to do is tell Sitecore exactly when it should display this particular component over the other options. So to define the condition for the new component, click the big edit button here and in the rule set editor, in the select the condition for the rule field, select a condition. As you can see, there are a ton of different rules here that you can select. And if you can't find the one that you're looking for, your Sitecore agency should be able to code in new rules for you as well. In this example, in the filter field, you can enter the word visit and select the option where the specific page has been visited during the current visit. So just like it says on the tin, that rule will allow us to create a personalization rule that only applies to website visitors who have already visited certain pages within our website during that visit. To edit the values in the condition, click the links in the rule description field. The first link contains the word where. If you click the link, Cycle reverses the condition, alternating between where and except where. The second link over here contains the word specific. And if we click that, we can go ahead and select the page that we want the website visitor to have passed through before this personalization rule is triggered. Other personalization rules might vary between the links here, but they'll all be the same in the respect that you just need to click on the link and be taken through to the relevant dialog box. When we're done here, we'll click OK. And while we're in here, let me quickly go ahead and complete the other banner using exactly the same method, only this time I'll select a different page. OK, done. OK, so let's recap. We have two conditions here. We're telling Sitecore, go check if the visitor has visited the What is Sitecore page during their visit. And if they have, show them a text field with this content inside of it. If that doesn't apply to them, check to see if they visited the Sitecore audit page. And if they have, render a form inside of this component and use this form here. And we said, if all else fails, just don't show anything at all. So for the default condition, I'm not going to add any content. I'm just going to click this box here to hide the component. When you finish, click OK. All right, now we're all set up with personalization and we're almost ready to push our changes to the live site. But before we do that, we will just want to check that our personalization efforts are actually going to work the way that we expect them to work. So let's preview them real quick. In the experience editor, click the component that you just added personalization to. And in the floating menu that appears, you can click this arrow here and that will show you what the page will look like for the current condition. If you then click the other conditions down here, you can view the personalized content that you've set up for the component. Okay, that's it. We're all done for this tutorial, but in truth, we've only really scratched the surface of what is possible with website personalization. Try to have a think about how you might use personalization on your site. Start small, focus primarily on the quick wins because it's just like anything. 20% of your personalization efforts are likely to result in 80% of the total gains that you'll see from personalization. Best of luck and thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by 3Chilies, the experienced technology experts. For more free cycle training videos, head over to 3chilies.co.uk forward slash training. Or if you'd like to organize a bespoke training day for your marketing team, email us or give us a ring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful.